Wow, what a wild week. When I think about uh, technology and uh, big events, this has got to be uh, one of the biggest. Uh, big November here for cord cutters. Uh, the introduction of Apple TV Plus and uh, the offer from Disney, uh, Disney Plus with Marvel and Star Wars and uh, National Geographic and, uh, well, pretty much anything that Disney has had to offer in the last 40 or 50 years. Uh, and I wanted that on my TV. I'm kind of in a situation where uh, my Vizio television uh, from 2013 uh, is no longer going to be supporting the Yahoo uh, via apps. So uh, Netflix is uh, no longer supported. And uh, I'm pretty sure that, that other apps are going to soon uh, be falling off here very soon. Uh, what a really bad time for, for Netflix to decide to uh, uh, disown a number of its viewers. But uh, hey, that's the way things go. Um, it was really time to start looking for uh, new apps. And uh, Disney Plus and Apple TV uh, Plus were definitely a good option. Uh, I picked up one of these Intel Nooks. Uh, it's a great option, 130 bucks. Um, it needs some components, so it needs a little bit of RAM, and it needs a hard drive. But uh, if you have those laying around, then you can save yourself a few bucks. Look here, it's got uh, dual HDMI inputs, two USB ports, an optical audio port, and Ethernet. On the front, you've got the power button and two additional USB ports. I wanted to take a moment and talk about the proprietary nature of Apple and Apple products in general. They really want you to buy the Apple TV hardware. And to a certain degree, that's kind of understandable. Uh, this is a competing app store. This is the Google Play app store. And if you type in Apple TV app, uh, there's there, there's no Apple TV Plus application inside of the Android store. Duh, right? I mean, that's kind of the way that it goes. So I always anticipated that you would not be able to install Apple TV or Apple TV Plus on a standard Windows computer. I mean, we all have them laying around at this point. I mean, you know, uh, four or five years old maybe. Uh, and if you have an HDMI output on one of those devices. They could easily be hooked up to your television. And that's what I'm going to show you now. Okay, let's go ahead and start the installation of Apple TV Plus. It's a pretty straightforward process. Uh, you'll launch Chrome, type in tv.apple.com. You can see here it's one of the uh, fast completion URLs. But this doesn't require any special hardware or anything. Uh, what you'll do, you'll go down to More Tools, then come over to Create Shortcut, and that's going to put a Apple TV Plus PWA, it's a web application, uh, onto your desktop. And you're going to put that Create right there, and it will go ahead and launch in its own window. When you want that to go full screen, you'll simply hit F11, and now it takes up the entire screen. Um, let's go ahead and get started with the free trial. Again, no special hardware needed. You can just run this on a normal Windows box, a home theater system. I do have an Apple ID from development, but you can sign up for your own Apple ID. It goes ahead and goes through the authentication process. Trust the browser. And now we are watching Apple TV right from a Windows box. We get to try it for one week with no commitment. We can cancel any time within that week. Otherwise, it's going to start costing us $4.99 per month. Because I already have a development account in with Apple, uh, the uh, cost will be charged to my account at $4.99 per month. Confirm. And let's watch some TV. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about the PWA, or what's known as the Progressive Web App. 
for the Apple TV Plus here. This is not just a shortcut. Uh, if you read up on the Progressive Web app, you'll uh, find out that it uh, has some certain characteristics that just a shortcut would not. One is that it is reliable, meaning that uh, whether your network is down or not, content will be shown inside of the PWA. So you will at least get a catalog of things that you can view. Now, unfortunately, with this Progressive Web app installed onto the desktop, you won't get... Uh, the DVR features or the download on demand video features of a normal Apple TV setup. But you still can stream and you still can watch this stuff from uh, your normal TV in your home. Uh, another uh, great effect of this PWA is that they're fast and responsive and uh, they do feel like a natural app on the device. So if you're like me and you have a Vizio TV and you're looking for a replacement of uh, those Yahoo apps, which have been more or less discontinued at this point, this is a pretty good option. Um, so let, let's go ahead and see what this looks like once we launch it. You'll notice that it does open more or less full screen. You go ahead and hit F11 and uh, it will open it up completely. Uh, I did auto log in. I don't know if you saw that, but when it first booted up, it had a uh, sign in button. And you can see here that it has progressed into a uh, avatar or logged in uh, icon. Let's go ahead and start a new episode here. You'll see that the uh, menu pops in at the bottom just like most online players. And it does go away. The mouse stays in the shot just a little bit. You can see it down in the bottom right hand corner. And the X eventually does fade away from the top left corner. I think for the most part here, things look pretty good. I believe the Apple TV server is reviewing the uh, internet connectivity quality and adjusting the stream to match what I can view, very much like Netflix does. Okay, so you get a view of what it looks like. That is Apple TV Plus on a Windows 10 Celeron Nook. To exit the Progressive Web App, you can drag the mouse cursor up to the top menu and click the X. In addition to my great car videos, I'm going to be getting into a little of the entertainment stuff. I wanted to touch on getting a remote for the Windows 10 box. I want to get into installing Disney Plus, and I want to go ahead and organize these applications into something that the remote can more easily use. If you're interested in any of that, please go ahead and subscribe, and uh, let's work through this together. Thank you.